Hi, I'm Mike Stanton with Build American Mutual. I'm here with Grant Dewey, Head of Municipal Capital Markets for BAM, and Brian Babler, Head of Municipal Primary and Secondary Market Pricing. It's July 26th. This is our BAM weekly wrap-up. Um, so, Grant, let's start with you. What happened in the interest rate markets? So another good week uh, for munis. We ended up, uh, the 10-year MMD uh, ended up lower by two basis points, as, as was the 30-year MMD, even though uh, Treasury rates were uh, were cheaper for the week. So the 10-year ended up uh, today at a 208, started the week at a 202, and uh, the long end also is four basis points cheaper. So obviously that translates to, uh, to uh, cheaper, uh, I'm sorry, richer uh, muni ratios. And so Again, another strong week. We got through quite a bit of supply, $7 billion week. And um, we had the uh, GDP number this morning, obviously got a lot of attention. Second quarter GDP came in at 2.1%, which was a little bit stronger than, than expected. Uh, you know, we'll, the FOMC uh, decision is next week. I think, you know, it's widely, um, I think the market is expecting 50, although I think today's number uh, will probably um, lead some to think that we might just see 25 basis points. Inside the muni market, I think we're still being driven by a lot of technical factors. Inflows keep coming, um, even with the heavier calendar. <clears throat> <clears throat> Definitely. Uh, the, uh, the fund inflows were over $2 billion this week, so we're well over $50 billion for the year. That, that is shattering kind of previous best. So uh, from a technical standpoint, Deals continue to do well. I mean, we talk about MMD is, is 90 basis points lower versus a year ago. And, and uh, you know, so that's had an impact on spreads and, and uh, deals continue to come to market. So, Brian, in the primary market, what did you see on BAM insured transactions this week? Yeah, as Grant mentioned, uh, supply was back uh, in a big way this week. Uh, BAM was very active. We insured more than 20 issues in the, in the primary market for over $200 million in par. Some interesting deals that came to market uh, were a uh, CFT for Capistrano USD in California. That's A-plus rated underlying, and that came to market competitively, but the issuer purchased the insurance and surety directly. So that deal was bought by Mesero. Calc continues to be really well bid. Spreads were through the MMD scale uh, for bonds through 2029, um, so very strong performance there. Another interesting one that Stiefel priced uh, on the negotiated side was a sales tax deal sales tax deal for Water Hill, Florida, also A-plus underlying. They did some long... Uh, tax exempt threes at a discount, uh, which uh, which which did very well. Okay, so next week summer keeps going on. Overall volume is going to be down a little bit, right? To... Yeah, it should uh, slow down a little bit. Uh, the negotiated calendar should be around five billion or so, uh, so a little bit lighter. Maybe a couple of issuers are avoiding the FOMC, um, but uh, and and summer vacations typically bite into supply a little bit, but uh, but overall should still continue to be really strong and well received. Great. So all eyes are on the Fed. We will be watching it next week as well. We'll be back uh, for another recap then. Thanks for watching.